What is going on guys, this is Lost Jetty here, and welcome back to Backpack Hero. This time we're actually starting a little bit later in. Uh, we are basically just starting right after the tutorial because frankly, I, I don't see the point in playing it every single time. You, you understand what's going on here. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and as per usual, if you want to play the game for yourself, it's listed in the description box down below. Um, so, what are, we, what are we going for here? Well... We don't know. I am based off of our dumb waste of that, but that's okay. Based off of our early game setup, uh, we didn't get any weapons right off the bat or anything, so kind of opens us up for whatever we want in terms of how we want to organize our inventory. Um, I will gladly take two items that deal damage as well as a key. Uh, the six HP is useful, definitely hundred percent, but uh, not right now. And we did get an early mana stone, so maybe we might want to look at doing some magic stuff for once. In a lifetime, frankly. Uh, 7 damage, unfortunately, is not going to be enough to get us there. So we're going to have to waste something. Um, I think... We can throw the cup, though. Which is what we're going to do. Like, it seems kind of silly, but also, early Mana Stone Bow. Arrows to the right get used, yes. Used to fire arrows, used to resource and magical items, it must form a path the item that it powers. Y you can come with us. We will have to figure out how to work with it, but you can come with us. Everything else here, it's, you know, relatively useful. No, no, uh, liquid luck, unfortunately. That's really what we want to see there. Um, also, do we have any keys? We, we do have a key, and I will use a key right here. Getting arrows or anything would just make this build somewhat more usable. You're gone. Uh, we get an extra key. We also get an extra block. We also get an extra regen. Basically, we're taking everything. Except for the shield. Well, we did. We are taking the shield. We're not taking our original shield, I should say. Uh, max HP. Max HP, please. Uh, excuse me. Do I not have the gold? That's unfortunate. One shy, and we would have gotten it from this combat anyways. Sometimes it do be like that, though. Nothing for reorganizing, so we're going to end the battle. Get items. Love to see that. That rings super huge in the early game. Uh, little Buckler, I do see some value in. I do think I will take the Broken Ring just for some use right now. I know we did say we wanted to take that. But how do we justify that wand? We really can't. One regent itself is like, eh, right now. I suppose it is something, but I don't know how we would uh, make everything else fit. So rather than having four regent to myself, I guess I get a wand. Which is conductive anyways. So sure, we'll we'll run with that. See where it gets me. So if we do come across a key, which we have a key, so we can we can just get a health upgrade. So we're gonna do that. And then take me to the first battle possible. 
I am keeping my eye out for other keys. I will give myself one regen. Um. Oh. I see. So I can I can do that. Wow. Under freaking stood. That seems very overpowered. Okay, we now have four regen. Not what I was expecting whatsoever. We also haven't used a single one of our moves yet. Well, that'll get us some max HP, which is a waste, but, uh... Doesn't matter as much. And turn. We'll block and turn. Now we just need to see if we can smite through this guy. Which we're not going to be able to. But we can definitely outblock him. Easy. And we've got a few options. So I will replenish our key because that did pay us some dividends. I do like the added mana stones, not gonna lie. Um, but we are still using that as our primary weapon, which is a little bit sad. So, I think what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna controversially dip our only coin here. Because we should be able to open this. Then, we're going to do these unknown events. I'll take a weapon. Give me something better. You don't fit. Just being real, you don't fit. I don't have any gold. I would love 5 max HP. Alright, give me the fight. At least that'll give me some items. So now if I go like this, right? That, that does give me the block I need. We can end turn. The bow is really overpowered, all things considered. There's some money, there's some poison. I would love to get this tunic in here. But we somehow need to fit everything else. So unfortunately, I think it's got to look like that. We can have some regen. We have the shield. Um, shields will come back around, frankly. But we are going to take on some battles and see how bad it can be. We do need to strike through him. And we are generating enough block without the shield right now with our armor anyways. So not a big deal. Let's now buy ourselves a little bit of space. And I guess I will take you instead. Because at least there's some benefit. I do like my lucky ring. I'll take thorns and I can't take regen. We got a focus fire. So I guess we're going to use all three here and then we'll use the mana stone to uh, heal or to block. They're going to deal. Well, I didn't need to because it would have been just for six anyways. Do not give me- you gave me a curse, I hate you. Is 
Necrosa is really not that bad anyways. Sure, why not? We should strike through him anyways. There's a shield back. Uh, do I necessarily want it back? I don't know, but we got it back. Uh, the buckler is so much better. It's so much better. Um, also, real wands. Don't think that that is past me as well. This is conductive. It deals 7 damage. Well... That's pretty sick. Out of curiosity, you can't, like, flip these guys over. You can, in fact, do that, and that is glorious. I really like the buckler. The question is, is there literally any way to get it to, to, to keep it? That would be how we keep it. But alas, that gets rid of all of our weapons. Except, does it though? So, putting a helmet down here, which is actually putting a helmet here, gives me some benefit. And then I can put a dagger here that I can attack with once per turn, and then I just heal through the rest. It's interesting, at least we got some magic going. Magic going in ways that I wouldn't necessarily run anyways, or normally. I still want to keep stacking luck and keep stacking cash right now. So let's let's try this out on for size, really. So we've dealt our damage. We can deal one more. We're already blocking for eight. Now this doesn't regen, unfortunately. So it's a very risque game. But I guess we'll use it all the way through. Because we don't need regen right now. Easy. And I might as well swing like that to get the max out of it. Now the question is, how do I get past the mana blockage, basically? What are you? Can we use one turn each turn? Add zero energy. Adjacent and diagonal consumables get destroyed. Interesting. It's a really cool item, but I don't know how how you play it. It's probably worth a ton of cash, so I think I will sell it. Do I need a key? I don't need a key immediately. So I won't be doing any shenanigans to make that work. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what you got. I've never seen this. This item is conductive removes. Unused removes 5 HP. Adjacent curses get destroyed. That's kind of cool but it is also hugely expensive. There's also nothing else here that I want, but I will sell the Philosopher's Stone for cold hard cash. 
and move on. Creates an ethereal arrow in a space that is in this column. Well, that sounds like exactly what I need. So how do I... So I'm going to ditch regen, although it's kind of cool. And I will put this here and I will see how this can work. That's unfortunate. I think I have to reorganize and swap those two. And end my turn, and the, the goal of this is really just to block through and boost our dagger. Yeah, keep healing yourself there, bud. You're, you're doing just fine. Get owned. Alright, carry on my wayward son. I like the damage right now. I, I do see the purpose, obviously, of uh, having real arrows. But alas, I cannot take them right now. I would love to buy a fish, but I have literally no place to put it. Well, this is an interesting situation because... Uh, Hey guys, uh, we are not at all equipped for this. Now we play the game of can we do enough damage, and the answer is no. What do we do?
So these guys are going to curse me. I should be able to... I will kill him. So I guess that's a move. I can't take the 8 damage. Boyo. You are killing me. We'll lose our lucky ring. We are going to not block once, but block twice. Use dagger. These guys will attack for 22 and we live to fight another day. You might think I'm a madman, but I think I want to take this. And I think I'm going to sacrifice my ethereal... Creates an ethereal arrow. We now can also lock twice, which is awesome. And we can kill the one dealing more damage and end our turn. And we can now kill the one. Well, might as well. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> that was rough. Let's see. Weapons with this effect by when an adjacent or diagonal armor or shield is present, this item gets disabled. All weapons get plus six damage. Yeah, that's like cool and all. Um here's the thing is you need uh, you need energy to use it. All weapons get this effect applied. On use, this item gets minus one damage permanently. All weapons get 200% bonus damage. So we need the money. We need the money to continue. So we can clear our curses. Ideally. That's how we live. We also need desperately healing items. So I will take that. And we do not have any keys. Please do not make me face combat immediately. Oi. Okay. And there's a will, there's an absolute way. So now we should be able to use this once. Adds two mana to connected 
and then use this again. Effectively doing 14 damage. I don't think there's any way for us to uh, sneak in the sneaky bow. Maybe that, that would work. I think that might work, actually. It's a bit risky, but who dares wins? Um, this would create some slight issues here, though, since we wouldn't be able to move the for one extra. Not ideal, but that also should work. And then I should be able to clear these items. Alright, I think that's our best case scenario. We are screwed. Okay. So, here we are. We need to deal a ton of damage. Okay, that gets us enough block to survive him. We now use this. And it does work like that. So we can now use this twice more for 14 more damage. We can now use this twice more for 14 more damage. We have 16 damage. We're good to live to fight another day. We have one ticking thing of poison that's going to be the death of me. That gets us to what we need, bare minimum. We then can recharge. I think this is the move. Oh, this is so scary. Okay. It just works. We live to fight another day. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That was not at all what I was expecting, but we did it. Okay. Healing items, please. I should be able to get those out of here. I can use this energy to clear them. That's not too bad. 10 HP, let's go. Um, 
I think 10 damage to all is worth not one, not having one energy, but that's okay. I can't use that anyways. We will now use our heal 25 health. I think that that's worth it. Puts us back in the game. Do we have a key? We do not have a key. Two blue slimes should give me the combat that I need to uh, basically get rid of this. We'll add the 10 HP. Toss that. You'd love to see it. We will then... One, two. We've got our curses gone. Thank goodness. We can now... How do we want to roll this? If we use him, get some down to 10. I can't afford to take, or I don't want to take damage, first of all. If we then recharge this, use wand once, use wand again, we still have one to go, so I guess we do this to buff it for next round. And end our turn. We have come back from the ashes. That's definite. I think we do this. Then... We will take the poison for two good swipes at this. Which is enough to get through, then that clears the poison anyways. Regen I think is useful, totally useful. I will definitely grab that. Right now we don't need the health. But we will take it anyways. Or we will take the energy right now. It's a scary, scary world we're in. What do we like here? Helmets to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adds one dodge to self. So it's just one free no hit. I don't think anything here is worth it. Unless you got a key, which you don't. I mean, that's cool. I will take that bow, not knowing what it is. Arrows to the right or above get used. Used to fire arrows. I mean, this thing is insane. Hawkeye's bow is absolutely insane. Do we have anything for it right now? No. Um, adds three haste to self. Yeah, you cool. I like you. You can stay. I think the regen can go first. Is it ideal? No. But I think that's what is the lowest ring on the totem pole. Sable, Sable, Armadillo, Rabbit. Uh, I don't love any of these. But I guess we do this. So what do we got to block for, realistically? We got to block for... 
uh, 11 plus basically 15, 14. Um, so that's a lot of blocking. I think that's what we need to do. And then now, he's on one, he'll die to poison. So I didn't need to technically block all that much, but it's okay. That'll load up on poison myself, I don't care. Do that. Get another mana stone. I think it's worthy to keep adding mana stones for more attacks. Um, I don't really see a place to put this. So here we are not placing that. Do I take the battle for the chance of an upgrade? I think I do. So first we make sure that we block through. Then we just go buck wild. Love to see it. That then leaves us with two. Heals for 10. I think it's worth it. Puts it down to 18, we end turn. Now I think we just use this guy all the way up. And use it all the way through, because the poison goes away. So, there's not a real loss there. Do you like me a lucky ring? Do you like some poison? Hate the wheel, wheel's stupid. Set it here first, guys. And we carry on because we have no keys. Alright, you're going first. Poison sucks, but I think it'll be okay. So, let's see. We... Want to block for 11. Done. Done. Which we can easily do. Now we need to deal 95 damage. Let's go. That works out perfectly. Um, I do think we don't really want to add anything there. So I guess we'll go up and fill that out first. Give me all the items. We'll add another mana stone because we can. One energy because we can. And I guess that's what we're rolling. I, I do like regen. And running poison's a little scary, so maybe that is what we do. But nah. Nah. We 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 out here. Um, yeah, sure. All right, he's hitting us really hard. So let's at least make sure to cover one of them. And then try to hit for 60. If that is at all possible. We will put the poison on. I think it's worthy. We will strike. We will not strike yet. We'll see what the wand puts us at. He's dead, and we still have more shots. That's sick. If we do this, do we get hit with thorns? For science? We do. Okay. Which is kind of messed up. I don't think... I, in my personal opinion, magic shouldn't have recoil like that, but okay. I'm no authority.
We're going to use the extra one energy. And just beat it there. We're pretty low, if I would say, on uh, on energy and all that jazz. Do I want another dagger? Not particularly. Like, I, I would like just a better weapon. But I don't see that coming anytime soon. I can't appreciate at least having that to uh, have some options during combat. And then I think we carry on. First things first, get some healing up. Up in here, up in here. Our first target's gonna be this guy right here, the Rat Wolf. We should totally be able to take him out just with our base magic. A little wasteful, but that's okay. Now, we've got to get to 17 block to not take damage. So we're now at 17. We still have four. I think we can get through this. He's at 7. He'll die to poison. And then we end turn. Block for 8. And then I think we just hit him. Let's go. Okay, poison to all is definitely helpful. And do I want to take any of these? Not particularly. Okay, we're going to just have to repeat that, basically. Six poison all. Not too bad. We then focus fire this unit get him within six that's fine then focus fire this unit that's fine eight damage is better no matter which way you shake it Okay, he's within one. He's going to die. And we will take a fair bit of damage this turn. But we did do some serious work. And then turn. Definitely want the healing item. Do we have anything we can open with the key first? We can open that with the key first, so I will take the key. Um, and then that's all that she wrote. Diagonal weapons give vampirism. You have caught my interest, especially because the wand is considered a weapon. I think I will get rid of my max HP right now. Simply because we're not using it anyways. <laughs> 
2 damage. Great luck. Adds 2 energy, removes 5 HP. Not loving it. Another ring that we just got rid of because we couldn't handle it. I think... I think we gotta get rid of our lucky ring again. And take that boyo. Just for the chance of living here. I will take a bat and a red slime first. So what are we dealing with this right now? Well, the seasoning makes it so that this is just bonus energy. Easy. That should be enough to just be all the way through it. No problem. Love to see that. Just straight up more damage that we can deal. Is there anything for a key right now? No, there's not. And I don't know if there's anything else here that really uh, warrants it. Or warrants taking it, I should say. Because right now we do have vampirism. I think we move on. I think we move on. I don't like the looks of that enemy. I think it might kill us. So we are going to use everything that we got to take on this final boss. Or not final boss, but this uh, boss here. Okay. They have spikes on them. Internalize this, please. For all that is good. We do have five freaking energy. Excuse me, why am I taking damage? Alright, we need to pop this just to get some more health on my character. They are striking for 21. So I think we just block all the way through. Just enough to stay alive. Block for 21. I'm not going to risk it. And I mean, we are buffing this every single time, so I do see the benefit. And then we just got to block up enough to get over 18. No big deal. Block up over 28. Oh, he doesn't have anything on him right now. So yeah, waste these charges and let's just win the level. That was a lot scarier than it had to be. Now, how now, brown cow? Okay, you go here. You go here. And now we've got two additional... ...stuffs. 
And really, I'm just using this wand as a 3-3 that takes up way too much space. So I, I can get rid of the wands now that we have a good amount of mana otherwise. Plus 5 damage, I don't love it. Adjacent weapons get plus 3 damage this turn. Or connected weapons get 25% bonus damage. I think that that is the winner. So this boyo now strikes for 9 damage, and this boyo still strikes for 9 damage, but this boyo strikes for free because of everything else in here. Um, so let's actually just do some juggling and see if and what we can do to get that in there. And I think the answer is we get rid of the dagger and just run the, the club. I think that's really the way to go right now. It's a ton of mana in there. Yo, pickaxe is sick. Um, this is conductive. I'm use adds one rage to self. I believe rage just means that you deal one additional damage every single time. So I would love to uh, add that in. If at all possible. I think we're going to ditch haste for a rage. Now I know pickaxe would be sick. On kill non summon creates a gem. On use deal one damage each turn for each adjacent gem this gets plus one in combat it can spiral out of control but it's pretty late game for us to be trying to make that work when we already are a freaking wizard sorry fire geckos needs a key all right we're taking on the fire geckos So we need to block for 28. So we're there. Okay, cool. Now. In addition, we still do have two energy here. Let's go. We are a freaking wizard. So now we have to win on this turn. So I think what we're going to do is just go absolutely ballistic. Let's go. All right, um, well, we can't really fit anything into our exact inventory locations right now. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, we, we know what we have to do. Drop a red or drop a green. Get a potion. Lose five health. Sure, dude. It was not worth it at all. Because I can't even take it with me. Listen, don't don't say that I don't try. Then mix it up a little bit. All right. Immediately focus fire the leading armadillo. Hmm. 
now, now that the dust is settled, what else can we do? Well, we are going to focus fire the second leading damage armadillo. Now that the dust is settled, what are we doing? We're focusing fire on the third leading, you know? Like, it's just, it's dumb. And we're just going to waste all five. Crank that soldier boy. Unfortunately, we really can't fit anything into our current build. We can add one more in inventory space. Or if we get mana stones that are just better. Take a rare item for a curse. You know, I don't think that there's any rare item immediately that would make me better in this situation. Alright, we're gonna block all the way through. Just max out the wand. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. We can now get through there. We're only going to be taking 9 damage. Alright. So we can add 1 Rage. I don't see the help there. Uh, King Cleaver. Adjacent Cleavers get used. That would be sick, but we don't have any Cleavers. Uh, removes 5 Poison from self is pretty valuable especially given our exact build um so i think i think i'm actually gonna take it for the off chance that we get in hot water like rage is helpful but it takes one mana to get there and i think in our current stage we can't afford to give up a mana when we are just railing everyone with our infinite amounts of mana that we're generating. Alright, they have Rage live on them right now. We're gonna dunk on them as much as we can. In case anyone's calculating from home, we are making 44 freaking block. And we can still kill through all that. I would like a better mana stone. When an adjacent weapon is used, remove one poison from yourself. Uh, that seems pretty awesome. Again, based off of our current build. Um, I think even awesome enough to do this. I also think that we are not using our mallet at all. So I think it's time for that to go. I think I'm going to take a healing item instead. Not playing that game again. Sorry, I learned from last time. Alright, I really don't like fire. So I'm going to focus on him first. Alright, now we just need to get past 19, so I think I will block up to 19 just to be certain. And then we will mana the rest. I 
I will also use this to purge our poison. This turn, if I go all in, I should be able to just knock him out. Done. We can add there, and it's kind of silly to add it anywhere else, but I suppose we can add there. What are you, a roof? I guess if you were, yeah, I guess if you were building one of those structures, you could build out with it. Two more hits on our weapon. Add six mana to connected mana stones. Uh, yes, please. And I think I will use one less energy on the start because that'll give it give me more there. All right, so first, you've got to go. Now, we need to block at least... For that. And then, I think, we end turn to let his spikes go down. Spikes are now down to three. And really, we're just boosting up this one as much as possible. All right, he should have nothing on him now. So now we just let it rip. Let's go. Freaking played that like a fiddle. I uh, This item floats. On use it gets two haste, one energy. Item destroyed. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Um, there's no shop for us. So I think our gold is gone now. And I think there is a certain amount of, uh, a certain amount of value to block, to doubling poison. To regen. Uh, I don't know. We're we're definitely gonna be hitting ourselves with some poison. So I guess that's the strat. We could take on one more enemy, but I think we've got as good a build as we're going to get. So here it just comes down to if we are if we're equipped if we're properly equipped to take on this boss so i think 
We want to do that. Even though it's a little bit of a waste, it gives us more energy next turn. And then I think we just go absolutely buck wild on this right now. Get it all the way up. I know we've got 83 block, which is way overkill, but we're now doing 16 damage here. And then now we should just be able to use the heck out of it. We're still okay. Still okay. Close. Okay, that's all we can do. So this is now up to 24. We can take six, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, we definitely can take it, so I might as well use it. Um, I will do this. He's striking for 20. 21, 22. Okay, we're gonna take one damage, which is acceptable, and end our turn. Our wand deals 24 damage. So first of all, we go one, two, three, that's easy. One, two, three, that's easy. Block. Pass 32. Take one hit of the that. End turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. He's dealing 21. He's going to spawn enemies. That's fine. We have plenty this turn. So I think what we want to roll, Wand deals 35. I think that's what we want to do. It, it, it prepares us for future. Now, we should be able to easily hit for that. No problem. I need his spikes to go down. Now he's dealing 22. One shield, one wand, I think is the, the move here. Now at 50 damage. So use this once, twice. Easy wipe. Add again. Add again gets me the 30.
I think we do a round where we take the damage. Like, he's down to 350. One hit wonder, let's go. Block up. Sixty two. It's hard to hard to figure this out, right? So he's got eight. So I think I can use this once, right? Because I'll get eight damage back. Okay. Now if I hit him again, I'll take 9 damage. Okay. He's down to 8 now. When I strike, it does 69 damage. I still think I would need to hit him too many times. Sorry that I'm not talking so much, guys. This is really making me think. To try to figure it out. Because I really think it's possible is the problem. And then 43. We've got six charges. Um, to do that, right? Six times seven is 35. So we would not come out the other end. I do think that this is probably the best time to... Double our poison. Well. Five times seven is 35. So. That's pretty sick. Okay. We will double the poison though. And turn. He's now only striking for 30. So I think... We see the light at the end of the tunnel here. It's really just a, a stalling game. <laughs> I'm really stalling super hard. Um, okay. And then we do that once hit once brings me to 31 hits it brings him to 31 he's at 176 we now have a wand that's dealing 88 damage i've just got to take my time and not be stupid okay now if we block all the way through six times six and seven 35 or sorry it's 35 is five so we will take minimal damage, and our wand will be almost where it needs to be. Two damage coming in, so we'll be at 30 health, and our wand is doing 95. We now will take five damage on hit. We now will take six damage on hit. And we've got it. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. So much 
so much processing to try to get that to work. It was probably so much easier to uh, figure it out. Good gosh. Check that out. Hey guys, super awesome run. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to see what happens after this. I don't, I don't think anything else is going to happen after this. But thanks for coming along for the ride because we somehow pulled out a win. That is super sick. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Item seen. Items created. Okay. I guess I, I would get the power up to move on. All weapons can apply to adjacent or diagonal armor. Shield is present. Gets a Excuse me. Disabled. Not what I want to do. Um, Jason item. No, thank you. No, thank you. I really don't want any of those. I'll take the money though. And put it in a place where it doesn't get disabled immediately. Check out the question. You have made it to the center of the dungeon and have found the golden cheese. More content is coming. Please join our discord and show off your backpack. Let's freaking go. <laughs> You continue things forward, about to get pretty hard. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This, oh, that's super sick. Okay, right. We'll 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 run it back, or we'll we'll keep it running. I'm not buying the fish from you. Oh, things have just only gotten harder. Oh boy. All right. So let's figure this guy out then. So we have full marks, so we should just be able to. Dude, he is so beefy. So we're just going to max this out. And if we can't shoot through him, we've got bigger problems. We do, in fact, have bigger problems. Although he, he has 12 poison on him. So... I will take the final backpack. My backpack is complete. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, adjacent weapons get plus one poison. Adjacent weapons get minus one damage. Dude, I don't want that. I mean, maybe I do actually. Are you technically a weapon? No, you're technically an accessory. Get plus one regen to self. I mean, that's cool and all, dude. But my build is already spiraled out of control. But sure, I, I'll t I'll take the energy just for the laughs. Let's go. Uh, two two mana stone, yes please. I will swap you out for seven coins, and then all of this is basically this has two energy. You instead have four energy, so you will come with me. And I would love some HP actually, so I will use that instead. And this will substitute for that one energy that we're losing. And I can't take any more. Alright, how do we do? How do we do? I think we just send it, dude. And with 7 energy, I think that it is reasonably feasible that I will be able to kill this.
Well, the poison will kill him. A little scary that it didn't kill him by itself, considering how much I get to use it. But I will take a key. And pretty much nothing else from this. Adjacent weapons get plus three this combat, and then they are Dunzo Bunzo. No, thank you. It is beyond scary, though, that we barely pulled through this. Uh, do we have any healing options? We do have a healing option. I, I do love... I don't have any money. Oof. Okay. Because I wanted to expand it, but I need eight coins to make that work. So that's not going to happen. Just give me three Mac. Yes. I hate you. I should have just taken it. Still 10 coins. This is what I get. This is what I get for trying to uh, cheese the system. Eight energy is just absurd, by the way. I mean, I'm putting on freaking 16 poison on this poor guy. Item floats, add zero block. This item gets plus one block. I will take that. I will take you. I don't have anything else. I mean, you know the drill at this point, right? Same formula, still works, so I can't complain. I do think, fortunately, unfortunately, we have to take this to replenish our health. And then the max HP and all that is not going to be coming with us. So we really don't have enough here. We can see it, but I, uh, yeah. Not enough gold? You hate to see it, you really do, but that is just how it works out sometimes. triple slime and we can get into the healer but we don't have a key so we need a key from this combat and we also need the money from this combat So the cup will put that guy down just low enough so that the poison will do the rest of the damage. I'm sorry, why do you have 12 regen? That's a little bit absurd, don't we think? I 
I mean, the, I will say, by the way, just um, while we're on the victory lap, the claiming cl cleansing rag with the ne Necronomicon and the wand is kind of a good combo, all things considered. Just because it adds poison and then immediately takes it away. Like Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. I mean, sure, it's not going to do anything for us, but we can add that there. Um, I do also like the added mana stone. Thank you very much. Um, it might be time for us to make that transition. Just to buy us more space, frankly. Alright, I thought about making it work somehow, but it's not going to. And we are going to pivot off of using that bow. It's just soon enough so we can get another one. Watch it be the identical one. Um, I'm not giving up a weapon. I'm sorry. My The entirety of my build revolves around a single wand. You cannot make me just yeet it <laughs> when we have come this far. It's very tempting, not gonna lie, I'm, and I'm very stupid in the process, but I'm not going to purposefully eat it. Alright, let's get the 10 HP. Might as well. Got the rage. That's cool. Block for 14. Then swing for the hills, my guy. And let him swing for 14. He's not going to do anything anyways. And because he's healing himself, we'll just use this entire time to uh, fill up our boyos over here. Let's freaking go. Uh, electric arrow. This item floats. It is conductive. It is a projectile. It deals one damage. It is not what I want at all. Um, I will take regen. I will take this. Luck? No, that's okay. Carry on my wayward son. We don't have a key. I hate that a lot. All right, we're going to focus fire it down. And thankfully, we don't have to find out what happens when he hits us. Go nuts. We're going to put more than 11 uh, poison on you there, bud. Just barely. But we are. Golden Cleaver, what are you? Adjacent and diagonal cleavers get plus one damage. Yeah, that's sick AF. Uh, what do we want? I guess we're arbitrarily adding our health or increasing our health. One gold, gain five max X HP. Yes, please. So at least we're still improving to a certain extent. Um, we're going to see our first uh, victory lap boss, if you want to call it that. And I am a little scared that it's going to absolutely mop the floor with me.
He gets rage every time we block, but that's fine. Uh, we're dealing 16 each time. He's a thousand hit points. My guy. That's just absurd. All right, he's summoning this round. So I guess we leave ourselves open for attack because we don't know what he's summoning and we should probably do that so we can direct some of our attacks at him. Oh, you know, no big deal. Just uh, a boyo that hits for freaking or has 416 health. That's not a big deal at all. All right, I'm focusing firing. He is beyond a threat at this point. I think this might be the end of us, frankly. He's gonna end with 55 freaking health. And he's gonna slaughter me. Absolute slaughter fest. Okay. You're dead. Might actually be a chance to coming out of the other side of this. Unlikely. But possible. Oh, let's go. We live to fight another day. We're going to live with two health, I think. I had poison on myself. No, I had to attack that turn and I didn't realize it. Well, hey guys, we did a victory lap. That's super sick. We beat the final boss in the early release or whatever you want to call it, which is also sick. And we did it with a build that we had never made it work before. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, just leave a like. I, it means the world to me, A, but B, I didn't think we'd make it this far. So hey, super hype. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.